But it's, I think they're only going for the I mean, it's going to get a lot of Don't hold
Vice President of Academics and Compliance, and it's my pleasure to be with you all here this evening to celebrate the accomplishments of our graduates. I want to begin by asking everyone for a moment of silence, not only for everyone gathered here tonight with us, but for those unable to be with us in this celebration while remembering our great men and women who have served our country and all of those who are not as fortunate in our world today. Now please welcome Todd Swirsky, who will lead us in the Pledge of Allegiance. Mr. Jimmy Wright.
it has been a tremendous privilege and a pleasure to watch each and every one of you in my short time here. And know that you all will leave here with those skills to be that successful individual. Please remember that you're very important to us. You are now alumni of the Tennessee College of Applied Technology in Shelbyville. We are here to support you after graduation. And now, ladies and gentlemen, it is my pleasure to introduce to you our neighbor, our friend, your 62nd District Representative and Distinguished Pro Tem, Representative Pat Marsh. Thank you, Jimmy. Thank you, staff. Thank you for having me here tonight. I am looking out over a proud bunch of folks, and you are too. I'm so proud of what you've accomplished, what you've done here with your life, and it's just the first step of many great things to come. It is a tremendous honor for me to be here tonight to celebrate with you the TCAT Schedule Class of 2024. Someone once said, all that stands between a graduate and the top of the ladder is the ladder. And others have said, you cannot get to the top by sitting on your bottom. I think those are pretty good words of advice. You know the importance of the degree or certificate from the College of Applied Technology. It is your ticket to a great education and to receive a good paying job to help take care of you and your family. I know many of you have sacrificed a lot. Your family has sacrificed a lot for you to be here, and I certainly congratulate you. you know, there, are only, there are over 30 million jobs in the U.S. that do not require a bachelor's degree that pay over $55,000 that are waiting on you all to come out and work. There are 24 TCATs all across Tennessee, and here in Shedmore, we have 14 courses offered to all of our students. All across Tennessee, our TCATs try to offer courses that lead directly to available jobs. In fact, 85% of TCAT courses are linked to high demand jobs. TCAT Chevrolet has a 75% program completion rate, 89% job placement rate, and a 100% licensure or pass rate. We are so fortunate to have Chevrolet TCAT serving the southern portion of Tennessee. Two years ago, I came to the TCAT and met with Chancellor Forth Heidi. I'm on the uh, local board for TCAT, and we knew that we were busting at the seams. We have like 500 students that couldn't get into school, and we knew we had to do something. So that day, Chancellor Tidings, her group, and I got together, and we got the state legislature, the governor, and everybody to agree on putting $44 million in the budget last year to build a new TCAT, state-of-the-art TCAT, out on 231. It's located in a prime position where everybody knows where it is. It's going to be a state-of-the-art school. It's going to look like a college university campus, and it's going to put out many, many graduates, and it's going to be able to take a lot more students than the TCAT we have now. The governor and state legislature know the importance of colleges of applied technology. Last year, we added in the budget over a billion dollars for TCATs across Tennessee. Money to improve 16 existing TCATs, replace seven, and build six new ones. So the governor and the state legislature know the importance of TCATs across the state. And you know one of the best things that happens here at our TCAT and TCATs all across the state? You come out with a degree with no college debt. Amazing. Many universities across the nation when their students graduate, they have hundreds of thousands of dollars in, debt, dollars in debt. And you don't have that here because of our staff, the state, and all the great things we've done here. With that money that you didn't spend on your borrowing for education, 
You can buy a car or buy and start your home. It's just amazing many, many things that you can do. You know, tech jobs are secure, high demand jobs, and most have a large backlog of work needing to be done. And hopefully you'll have all found the right degree for you here that will lead to the perfect job for you. If you do what you love, you'll never work a day in your life. So I hope you found your career something that you love and that you love going to work every day. Winston Churchill once said, we make a living by what we give. We make a life by what we give. Ralph Waldo Emerson said, do not go where the path may lead. Go instead where there is no path and leave a trail. And also Proverbs 3, 5, and 6. This is a big one. Trust in the Lord with all your heart. Do not depend on your own understanding. Seek His will in all you do, and He will show you which path to take. I want to tell you a little bit about my story. I grew up in Lincoln County, Fayetteville, went to Fayetteville City High School, grew up on a farm, a dairy farm, and uh, worked a lot of hard work like most of you have outside in the farm. I love, love, don't love anything any more than that. I worked while I was in high school. I got the opportunity to go to the University of Tennessee. I worked summers to be able to go there, not to borrow money. I was a football manager when I was there and got most of my scholarship provided because of that. I got to travel with a team all over the nation. Still had great friends with that. When I got there, a major in pre-dentistry. I'm going to tell you about what one little small turn in your life can mean to you if you take the right choice. I hated pre-dentistry because I hated chemistry. I was making B's and C's with an occasional A, going to class every day, studying late every night. My roommate was missing cutting a lot of classes. He was making straight A's, didn't study much at all. And one day I just had him up. I said, what are you majoring in? He said, I'm majoring in transportation. I'm like, what is that? And so I decided I'd give it a try. And this was the turn in my life that paid out great dividends. I started taking transportation courses and loved it, fell in love with it. Ended up going to work for Ford Motor Company in the traffic department. And a year later, I was working for God and Truck Line in Tennessee. Another fate in my life that turned out to be great. We started out with six tractors, 12 trailers. We built that up to 1,000 employees with over 500 trucks. Then we started Dixie Express, and that went to 600 trucks with over 700 people. I'm going to tell you what you've got to do. I'm going to give you some of my advice, and, I, and it really does pay off. I promise you that. We work a lot of people. Show up early. Stay late if necessary. Be proud of your work. Be always learning more about your job. Be the very best at your job. Dress for success, which today a lot of people forget that one. Be a friend. Have a positive attitude. Always be honest and fair. I was in the Rotary Club here for over 40 years, and I was in a fraternity at UT for four years with a bunch of guys. And I want to give you the mottos of those two organizations. For 40 years in the Rotary Club, every week, this is what we started out our meeting with. Is it the truth? Is it fair to all concerned? Will it build goodwill and better friendships? Will it be beneficial to all concerned? And in fraternity, a bunch of young guys, consider yourself a man of good character, a student of fair ability, with ambitious purposes, having a deep, congenial disposition, and possessing a good moral character and having a high sense of honor and deep sense of personal responsibility. These are some really important things in life that had to be in my head and I've got it now. Since I'm 75 years old, I finally figured it out. Okay. Thank you, family and friends, for your encouragement and support. They couldn't have done it without all of you all supporting them. Thank you, students, for doing the lab, working job while going to school. Thank you, TCAT staff, 
for your dedication to train these students to be the very best they can be in a skill that can never be taken away from you. As you prepare to start this exciting new chapter in your lives, I look forward to following your progress in the years ahead. If there's anything I can do as your state representative to help you on your journey, or legislation that you feel will improve the quality of life across our state, please let me know. Together, we can make a big difference. Good luck to all of you, and may God bless you, your loved ones, the state of Tennessee, and our great nation. Thank you, and best of luck. gentlemen, we are now ready to present the candidates for their diplomas. Would the candidates for diplomas please stand and come forward. I encourage everyone to refer to their program which indicates the specific diplomas received. Administrative Office Technology, Marilyn Dixon. Giselle Hernandez. Amanda Miller. Jonathan. 
Jonathan Thompson. Wow! Amber White. Heating, ventilation, air conditioning, and refrigeration. Edgar Castillo. Gabriel Hernandez Francisco. Dayron Herrera. Juan Perez. Isaiah Ralston. Oscar Sandoval. Industrial Electricity. Zachary Seddon. Isa E. Kano. Industrial Maintenance Automation, Franklin County. Josh Bishop. Kevin Cox. Connor Guess. Xander Hogan. Dylan Pudney. <laughs> Casey Scott. Oh. Rex Cheryl. Industrial Maintenance Automation, Lincoln Central Academy. Caleb Burton. Cole Cowan. Lucas Industrial Maintenance Automation, Shelbyville. Brandon Byler.
Timothy Lowhorn. Information Technology and Infrastructure Management, Franklin County. Levi Amrion. <laughs> Stuart Davis. <laughs> Jeremy Fall. Jayla Fowler. <laughs> Buck Gill. <laughs> Avery Harden. <laughs> Terrence Herring. Jace Livingston. <laughs> Wayne Myers. <laughs> Xander Nunley. <laughs> Robert Petty. Solomon. <laughs> Stephanie Tustin. <laughs> Information Technology and Infrastructure Management, MTEC. Taylor Fass. Yeah. Taylor Blair. Marco.
Machine Tool Technology, Franklin County. Wyatt Dome. Logan Hopkins. Ethan Keller. Joshua Street. Machine Tool Technology, Shelbyville. Jack Murdoch. Practical Nursing, Shelbyville. Mary Gomez Marquez. Welding Technology, Franklin County. Christopher Anderson. Bryston Hardison. Justin Litchford. Braden Parton. Mason Von Wert. Welding Technology Shelbyville. Jackson Davis. Will the 2023-2024 candidates for graduation please stand? <laughs> President Wright, we, the Tennessee College of Applied Technology, Shelbyville faculty and staff, present to you the candidates for 2023-2024 graduation.
spot while the procession on police.